Well, good morning. How are you all today? <clears throat> How did you start your day? I want to talk about the best way to start your day and why it makes all the difference. Uh, this is going to be, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain to you kind of how this one came about. I'm going to put this one on the Integrative Preparedness uh, channel in addition to the Stone Mount Church channel. This is really a Stone Mount Church message. Uh, but as a result of, of how it developed, I'm going to put it onto the uh, Integrative Preparedness channel because it is so important. It's important to your life. It's important to your preparedness. It is. It makes all of the difference. And you know what? It, sadly, this isn't going to get at nearly as many views on the Preparedness channel. I know those of you on the Church channel will understand it and 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 bene hopefully benefit from it. Uh, but sadly, it won't get as nearly as many uh, views on the the preparedness channel as as if I had put one up about the the world is ending or you know nuclear war is coming or the economic system is collapsing or anything like that. And and it's too bad because it's so much more important than those. So I hope that those of you watching on the Integrative Preparedness channel will understand that this is probably the most important thing you can do for your preparedness okay okay let's let's get started on this <clears throat> i started the day it, it, it's a beautiful day i started the day with so much to do uh, i i went up at uh well i woke up a little before five this morning uh kelly took son number two to football practice at six uh, i got the other kids up at seven i went over and picked him up and brought him back home so he could get ready for school. Did some things around here. Uh, <clears throat> all the kids left for school. And then I have a whole load of things ahead of me today. I have I have got the, <clears throat> I had to mow the backyard and do some weed eating. And I've just got a load of books in. Uh, <clears throat> yesterday, I think, or the day before, that I'm, I, I have to start signing. Well, I don't have to. I am I'm able I am blessed to be able to sign all those books God has blessed me uh, in that I get to do something that I love uh, for a living and that's writing and and so many people order the books from me uh, directly that I get to sign them and uh, ship them back out and that's just just a pleasure and then I have a lot more writing to do I'm coming to the conclusion of book uh, seven of the Stonemont series just started the first book of another series uh, have a whole bunch of tomato and pepper and and uh, what eggplant and other plants to get out it's been raining like the Dickens for the last oh I don't know it seems like two weeks it's just been too wet to plant anything so I have a lot of things to plant I have uh, a lot of seedlings to get started and in, in, in seed trays uh, I have a construction project uh, is uh, I need to get started today in the backyard uh, what else a whole lot, a whole lot of there, there's many many other things I, I always start off my day however with uh, oh and, and then I had a, a lot of, of uh, uh, a, a lot of dishes that I that I <coughs> I wanted to wash I like to hand wash dishes. Kelly Kelly uses the dishwasher, right? I'm just a nut for years and years and years. I've I've washed uh, washed. That's my accent of where I'm from. I'm a washer. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I like them by hand because I like to inspect each one, make sure it's exactly right. If there's a speck I can see, nothing makes me <laughs> more irritated than taking something out of a dishwasher and looking at it and seeing specks on it or water spots or something like that, right? So I, I had a lot of that to do because we have been busy the last couple of days and they've been stacking up on you. And uh, had that, anyway, I had those and a lot of other things to do. But I always start my day, I started by praying. I start uh, before I get out of bed, I, I, I will thank the good Lord for the, for the day to which I have awakened, to which he has awakened me, and for all the blessings in it, because I know it's going to be full of blessings, because every day has been. Every day, and sometimes even if you think you've got troubles, if you're addressing it the right way, if you're looking at it the right way, you will see the blessings in those troubles. If you rely on the good Lord, 
Uh, he uses troubles to bring you blessings. Simple as that. There are some who don't realize it, and if it's, if it's you who don't realize it, I encourage you to, to think of it a little bit differently. And so I'll say my prayer, and I'll ask him. I, I thank him for his blessings and, and ask him to guide me and use me as, as he chooses. And, uh, and then I'll get up. And after I got all those things done, then I'll sit down and I'll, I'll, I'll pray for a few more minutes uh, after everybody's gone. And then I'll, I'll read part of the Bible, a little bit of the Bible. And not, but today I was just so busy, so busy. Uh, I, I, I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm going to hit. I saw something had popped up from Charles Stanley, one of my favorite uh, preachers. Uh, Kelly and I had the opportunity to meet him. Uh, some years ago down at down at his church in atlanta and uh and he, he is truly a, a deep and gentle spirit well yeah he is um <clears throat> and so i saw that something popped up there and it was just a, about a three minute devotional right of uh of uh, something that he was saying and so i, I said okay i i've got three minutes i i can take three minutes right okay I hit it. and I have to I have to tell you that my my spirit was a little I won't call it anxious I well, didn't have anxiety I just had this feeling that I needed to get going and get things done right so uh, because the world right because the world and I have to because I have to go out and do things yes <laughs> so uh, I said okay I've got three three and a half minutes for Charles and God so I, I pushed that and I sat there in a chair and I started listening to it and something's um, something that he said in there caught my attention and I said and he was reading from uh, from Hebrews and I said and he was, he's talking about faith and, and he mentioned a couple of things what Hebrews says about Moses and I said well let me let me double check that because I think there's a now I'm not double checking Charles although not everybody not all pastors you know see things exactly the same way and some see different lessons in things than others and I said well that's an interesting thing let me go back so I went back and I I read again the uh, the the story of of Moses and I says yeah 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 okay yeah yeah that's right that's right and and I had a, a, a different lesson that I pulled out of it than than Charles did but but his was good too and uh, as you would expect and uh, and so I, that that got me started on well I, I ended up I said well I'm, I want to read through Hebrews and so I, I I did most of it not not all of it because there's some that I'm going to use there's some lessons in Hebrews there that that I need to address uh, concerning uh, the law and, uh, and and many other things and I've had people ask me for this message too and it's about shoot our our Christians under the law and and uh, uh, by the way since this is going on. Uh, the preparedness channel. I know that there are different ways of, that people feel about this, so I'm I'm going to ask you not to come on and uh, and proselytize your particular uh, view on this. If you would like to hear my view on it, uh, you can join us on the church channel, and and whenever I put that that message up. Um, but anyway, so I I stopped about halfway through, but then I started uh, his his. I, I hit his uh, thing again, and uh, I started another one of his sermons, and uh, just let it run, just let it run, and it was it was as all you know. If you pay attention, most messages are going to resonate with you because it's not necessarily the brilliance of the 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 messenger; it's it's the 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 depth of the message from the Lord, and he he uses us as his delivery systems you know as as his tools we if we if we allow ourselves to be tools in his hands then you can you can depend on the message if we try to get out there and do it ourselves uh, that's when human frailty uh, takes its toll so anyway so I, I found myself listening to that and uh, did a couple of things and all of a sudden I said well I, you know this I, I kind of like this message and very often as I listen to these things I'll, I'll pick out certain ones that that I said, well, I think I'll share this at, at, in church. We do home church, as many of you know. And I think maybe I'll share this one. I'll use this ones of, of Charles or sometimes of Adrian Rogers and not too often of others, but, but uh, sometimes. 
and uh, I said, okay, I, I think this is a good one. I'm going to use that probably this this Sunday. And I said, while I'm listening to this, I'm going to go ahead and get get started on those dishes. I mean, it's just it, it's a huge huge thing. It reminded me of back when I used to wash dishes in a restaurant when I was 15, 16 years old. So I kept listening, and I got uh, got to going on the dishes, and got through that, and and uh, and uh, and and then uh, it, it went through a half hour sermon of his, and it rolled into the next one, and I was about halfway done with the dishes, and it just kept going and kept going with the dishes, and it got done with that one, and and all of a sudden I'm done with all those dishes, and. Uh, and then it, it went into the next one. I said, well, you know what? I, I still have that, that backyard to cut. I'll just let this run uh, while I cut, cut the yard. And so I let it run. And this one was an hour long. <laughs> and so uh, I just let it run and I cut the grass. And, you know, I was under no, uh, no stress, no anxiety. I was just uh, in, in the word as, as I went about my daily tasks. And uh, and all through this, the, the 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 increasing sense of peace, you know, was filling me, settling on me, and uh, and it made me think of two things. Um, so at the, by that time, by the time that was over, I had had uh, probably three hours uh, in in the Word, while I had two hours of Charles Stanley, which I love. Uh, while I accomplished these other things that had been bearing down on me, uh, and there was no burden, there, there was only lightness, there was that peace that you all understand, the peace that surpasses all understanding, for those of you who may not understand. And it, it made me uh, think of two things. The first was uh, uh, a message that actually I shared in, in church last week, uh, and it was a story that I had heard Adrian Rogers give. A great story. And it's the story of a, a little boy who was trying to move this big rock. And, and he, was, he was shoving it and pushing it and turning around backwards and trying to lift it and, and grunting and giving it his all. And his father was standing there watching him. And he says, the father says, you're having a tough time with that, aren't you? And the little boy says, yeah, I am. And the father says, well, are you, are you, are you doing your best? And the little boy says, I am. I am. And uh, the father says, are you sure? And the boy says, yes, I, I am sure. I'm doing my best. The father says, are you using all of your strength that little boy says he's starting to get kind of irritated and frustrated. He says, I, I am. I'm, I'm using all of my strength. And he, and he keeps trying to push that right. I'm using all of my strength. And the father says, no, you're not. And the little boy stops and he looks at him. He says, what do you mean? I am too. And the father says, no, you're not because you haven't asked for my help. What a lesson that is. So many of you immediately understand that meaning. And if you don't, I hope that you will think about it and take the time. Until we ask for the Father's help, until we ask for Him to be involved in every single thing we do, everything is harder than it needs to be. And rarely do well. we never get things done as well as he meant it to get done uh, according to our own strength our own strength is nothing okay nothing we are to 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 ask him and want him to be a complete partner in everything that we do the other thing that came to mind and i took this out of my office some of you have seen this hanging up behind my desk when i do the ones in my office and and this is called the difference it's been it's it's hung in every office that i've had uh since the 1990s at least maybe the 80s i don't know but but at least the 90s and i'll read it to you it's called the difference uh 
I wonder, I, I probably need my glasses for this. It says this, I got up early one morning and rushed right into the day. I had so much to accomplish that I didn't take time to pray. Problems just tumbled about me and heavier came each task. Who of you doesn't know that feeling? Huh? Why doesn't God help me, I wondered. He, was, he answered, you didn't ask. I wanted to see joy and beauty, but the day toiled on gray and bleak. I wondered why God didn't show. He said, but you didn't seek. I tried to come into God's presence. I used all my keys at the door. Do you understand what he's talking about here? He's talking about him trying, him trying to do it as opposed to simply asking and receiving. I used all my keys at the door as if we can unlock that. God gently and lovingly chided, my child, you didn't knock. I woke up early this morning and paused before entering the day. I had so much to accomplish that I had to take time to pray. That's the best way, really the only way, to start your day. If you don't start with prayer, if you don't make God your full partner in everything you do, if you don't ask Him to help you, and things because you don't have we don't have the strength to do anything well I'll be honest and, and you know that things are not going to go well and when we make him our partner it's just like that little boy with the rock son you, you're not doing your best you haven't used all of your strength because you haven't asked me and I am your strength so Think about that. How did you start today? How are you going to start tomorrow? And how do you know you should start every day? It will make all of the difference in your day and in your life. God bless you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.